Good afternoon, you're with Beyond. Today is Monday, July 25th. I'm Aisha Sindhu. Here are the top stories at this hour. Indian actor Salman Khan has been acquitted in a poaching case that has dogged him since 1998. Khan was accused of killing a black buck and chinkara on the outskirts of Rajasthan's Jodhpur. Both animals are protected under the Wildlife Protection Act. A 25-year-old Israeli woman was allegedly gang-raped near the northern Indian town of Manali. The incident occurred during the early hours of Sunday when the woman hitched a ride from a numberless car. She says there were six men in the car and that she was raped by two of them at a location she can't remember. The BJP-led National Democratic Alliance government is set to remove 20 of 106 Maoist-affected districts that make up the Red Corridor, which spreads across 10 states. The names of these districts and the reason behind their removal from the corridor have been communicated to their respective states. A response is awaited on the proposal. In Germany, a man wearing an explosive device has blown himself up in Ansbach, killing himself and injuring 10 others. The attack took place at an open-air music festival where more than 2,000 were in attendance. Earlier in the same day, a Syrian refugee was arrested for killing a pregnant woman with a machete near Stuttgart. However, police say there is no current evidence to suggest that it was a terrorist attack. In the United States, the Democratic Party is in turmoil following last week's WikiLeaks expose that hints that the party played favourites in the race between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. In an attempt to quell a growing rebellion by Sanders supporters, the DNC's chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz stepped down on the evening of the Democratic National Convention, where Clinton will be nominated for presidency. And in cricket, our Ashwin spun India to victory over West Indies by an innings and 82 runs in the first test in Antigua. Ashwin 7 for 83 ensured the side got their biggest win outside Asia. India now lead the format series 1-0. With that, it's a wrap. I'm a little out of breath. News and updates continue on our digital, mobile and social media platforms. Thanks very much for watching.